Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at more relationship stories. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. My mother's new fiance wants me to call him dad. He's 24. How do I navigate this? So this person is currently 35 and the new fiance of his mum is 24. Oh hell no. <laughs> Why would you be calling someone younger than you by like 11 years dad? I'm a 35 year old man and for some backstory, my dad died when I was 19, leaving my mum with me and my two siblings. I'm the oldest. It took some time, but eventually my mum started dating again. We don't live together, but our houses are back onto each other and have a gate. So it's pretty common for her to offer to do my laundry or me to just go over for dinner or look after our dog, that kind of stuff. Plus me and my siblings go over there for dinner every other Friday night or so. A bit after she started, the men she's been dating have been getting younger and younger and I've never had a problem with them. She's been very open to me and my siblings that she wants to get married again and we've always been supportive, at least after the initial shocks. The latest guy is by far the most serious and they've been dating since around last June. He proposed at the start of autumn and they want to get married next summer. Again, me and my siblings are fine with this because it's her life and we trust him. He's a nice guy and they clearly love each other. But anyway, so long and short is this weekend, her fiance, let's call him Phil, calls me and asks if I could come over. I say, yeah, sure, I'll be over after work. And I assumed he just needed help with some DIY stuff they're doing. When I get over there, he calls me sport and says we need to talk. I should mention this is something he does to me and my little brother, calling us things like kid, sport, scout, little buddy, or my personal favorite, calling us red and blue, seemingly out of nowhere. Is that like an ego boost kind of thing? What? My brother is 30 by the way. He tried it with my little sister too once and called her princess, but he stopped when she stared at him. Anyway, so I go around and I ask him if her mum's around and he says no, it's just him and that we really need to talk man to man. I say sure and he starts talking about how he's always wanted to be a father etc and raise a son to call his own and then he drops this bombshell by saying, now I know I can never replace your father, the man who made you, but it would mean the world to me if you could call me dad. No, hell no. I'll admit it, I snickered a little and then I knew he was serious because he looked like he was about to cry and he didn't drop it either. I asked if he really meant it and he got really emotional and started talking about what it means to be a man and how his purpose is to have and provide for our family and he wants me and my siblings to be part of that family. Like he reiterated he would never replace my father but he's ready to step up and be my dad and provide for and protect me and my siblings. What's there to protect? These guys are not even kids anymore. They're literally older than him by like 10 plus years. Provide? These people have their own jobs. <laughs> what is he talking about? I'm just sat there thinking, dude, I'm a decade older than you and live in a separate house. I don't need providing for. And even if I did, I don't think a guy a third of my age who works part time at a hardware store and is into collecting manga is the man to do it. No offense if you're into that. I was in shock so just said okay and he gets emotional again but in a happy way talking about how he wants to go camping or go to a baseball game. Well I just ended up by saying this has gotten a bit too weird and I was going home. He got very upset and I left and called my brother and he agreed it sounds weird as f. Later my mum called me and she wasn't disappointed but admitted it's made him very upset and depressed. I told her that if he's embarrassed, he doesn't need to be. I get he's excited about the marriage and we can just laugh this off as a funny story. She then said that wasn't what he was upset about. He's upset about the fact that he pulled his heart out and I rejected him. She said, yeah, it's a bit cookie, but this is how he proves to himself he's a man. And I guess I was a bit angry and said something like, first off, it's not my job to certify what's between his legs. And second, this doesn't prove he's a man. It just proves he's a nut job. I apologized immediately, but she said she didn't want to hear it and hung up. She called back 10 minutes later and we apologized and she begged me to just go along with it until he has some kids to call his own. I won't go too much into the details, but she sort of let it slip the plan to try IVF treatment because she's not ready to give up on being a mom just yet. We finished up fine and I reiterated I support her and she agreed that it was definitely a stressful situation for me, but begged me to at least think about it, which leads me to here. I did think it over and obviously I'm going to say no. <laughs> so let's do the math here. When this person's dad died, when they were 19, that means the fiance of the mom was only eight years old. <laughs> the boy was eight years old while this person was 19. Now this person is 35 and the boy is 24. Oh, well, I don't, you know, I just don't get it. I mean, like, why do you need 
someone who's already 35 to be calling you dad. You shouldn't even be caring about that stuff anymore. If anything, they can have their own kids and then, yeah, their own kids can call them dad. I'm confused. I'm so confused. This is like definitely weird. It's not even normal. Like, I'd understand it if they were younger than him. But why would you want someone who's 11 years older than you to call you dad? <laughs> like, it doesn't click in his mind that it's weird or something? It doesn't? I'm confused. I just know... <laughs> I just know if I was in this situation, I wouldn't have been able to, like, hold it together as well as these guys did. Like, yeah. <laughs> okay okay well that's it for the video hope you guys enjoyed tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are and as always thanks for watching hope you guys liked it and i'll see you guys next time bye